Welcome to a special edition of Sport Eagle TV's Basketball Insiders from MHP Reason Ludwigsburg. We have the league's leading scorer, the Beko BBO's leading scorer, DJ Kennedy. Uh, DJ, let's start for, first with this. I grew up in New York, St. John's fan. That's where you played the. Um, that's where you played your college ball. A lot of experience from Madison Square Garden, home of the All Star Game this year. Talk about some of the about playing in such a world famous arena. I mean, I think it's one of the best feelings in the world for us, a basketball player or just a fan, just being there. I think it's just great because it's, it's the mecca. Like everyone grows up knowing about Madison Square Garden and wanting to play. So for me, it was just a great and a great opportunity to just be able to play my college career, you know, home games there. So I felt very blessed, and I think it was I enjoyed every moment of it. Now you've gone from the NBA in the D League, lots of success there. Now you made your way to Europe. Talk about your road coming here to Germany. Why Germany and why now? Uh, I think it was more uh, I felt good with the coach after talking to the coach. You know, I thought it was a, it's a great league. It's a tough league. And uh, I think I really just needed to um, show as far as the Europe level, show people uh, how I can play and uh, at the top level where I can, what I can do. And, and I think it was just basically based off that. And, uh, so far, I've been having uh, great success. And, uh, I mean, it's just a great situation for me. Yeah, great situation. Is it the system? Is it the league? Um, what's allowing you to to be the leading scorer in the league? I think it's a little of both. I mean, I mean, you got to think about the coaching and the situation and uh, the system that we play. And uh, really, uh, give a lot of credit to uh, John Patrick. I mean, he just used me the best. Me to, he used me for the best of my abilities, and I've been able to take advantage of that so far throughout the league. And uh, I think that's really I just got to keep knowing what I'm doing and just follow John Patrick's lead. Now you guys are right now as we stand, I know it's a long way to the playoffs, but the way we stand right now, you guys are fighting for a playoff spot. Uh, this is your first year with the team. What have the players who played last year on Ludwigsburg talk about their experiences and uh, what can you bring to help the team get into the playoffs, maybe even win a few more games? Uh, I think I just got to be able to compete every day and uh, just play with the energy. I mean, this team plays with a lot of energy and they come out and compete every day. And I think, uh, I mean, today was a tough one, but I think was, as an overall group, we play hard and uh, I think it'll pay off. We just got to keep saying, just got to keep staying consistent over the long run, over the stretch. Uh, we got some tough games coming up, but I, I like our chances. Good luck to Russell Ray, DJ. Thank you. Thank you. And we continue the special edition of Basketball Insiders with the Beku BBL's leading rebounder, John Brockman. Uh, John, with a German name like Brockman, how is your German? <laughs> My German is rough, but uh, I'm improving in it. And, uh, you know, I've only been here a couple months, so I'm trying to learn it. Uh, being in France the last two years, I picked up a little bit of that. Um, but I'm excited to get a little more German in my in my repertoire. Yeah. And, and it's, it's been a long road. You were in the NBA, as you mentioned, playing in France. First year at Ludwigs, Ludwigsburg. Um, talk about how your game has evolved as you're now, as you mentioned, two months here in Germany. Uh, it's changed a lot. You know, every single place it feels like I kind of have a different role just because it's a different team, different personnel. Um, but a lot, of, a lot of what I do is bring rebounding and toughness and um, I'm an undersized five man, so I really got to go out there and bring a lot of energy. And, and how is a team now developed? I know it's only your first year, but um, as the team's coming together, the leading scorer, DJ, uh, and now you're the leading rebounder, your role in helping this team make to the playoffs, mm -hmm. how does it look for you guys? You know, it, it's, it's going to be tough. We have a lot of good teams, um, but as of lately, uh, with, with exception of tonight, you know, we were on a little bit of a roll. We kind of caught our groove. Um, and we need to just bounce back after this game and, and try and find that groove again. Um, when we bring our energy and bring effort every single night, we're, we're a tough team to play against, um, and we just, but we just need to have that consistency. Final question, you're a, Washington, a state of Washington uh, born uh, a player. Mm -hmm. You went to the University of Washington. Yep. Do you get a chance to watch the Huskies? It's a nine hour difference. I know it's been a tough season, but do you find some time to, to, to watch them? I do. Um, you know, obviously the 3 a.m. Start times, I can't really watch those, but I always watch the highlights and, and read up on them throughout the week. Uh, it's been rough lately, but I've, I have faith. Um, you know, Coach Romar is a great coach, and I, I hope they can figure out something to turn it around. If I recall, you guys did beat my Longhorns one time in the NCAA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. We, we, we'll get back. We'll get back <laughs> to you that. Um, again, a special edition of Sport Eagle Basketball Insiders, John Brockman. Thank you very much for stopping by. Yep, thank you.